everybody welcome back. Um, today I thought I'd do a tutorial on making a couple of embellishments um, and these you could do quite a bit with them. Um, I thought they'd make this would make a nice little corner tuck spot um, and then this one we're going to add to a paper clip. So it's just another quick and easy tutorial so um, we'll just jump right in and the, what made me think of this um, is if you buy Tim Holtz papers you know that you end up with these little squares lots of these and to be honest I really don't know the point of them because they're too small to use as a journaling um, card so I was racking my brain thinking, well, what am I going to do with these? And that's what prompted me to come up with this idea. Um, it's nothing new, just just another idea for, for those of you out there that have these papers and are wondering what you can do. Um, what I did was cut up, I took my flower punch, and it, if you don't have a punch, don't worry. If you've got a flower framelit, you can use the big shots. Just obviously this is going to be quicker. And I just um, cut out a bunch of these. And I don't worry about staying within the pattern because as you can see, it, it crossed over, but it looks fine for this because it once you scrunch that up, you're not going to see that you know, you've taken it from the center, so don't worry about that. Just get as many um, things cut out as you can out of the paper. Um, and this one I did the butterfly. Uh, I've got a little butterfly punch here. This was a Stampin' Up! But uh, there again, if you don't have this, as long as you've got something to cut out, a die cut, you're going to be fine. Just run it through. And each of these will require three three butterflies, three flowers. So I've done that. Actually, I've not done the butterfly yet. I'll go ahead and punch those out. I've already cut the um, the flowers, so I'm just going to very quickly uh, get three more of these punched out. So the next thing you're going to want to do is a base of some sort and I've got a couple of different punches here. Um, this is a scallop to two and three quarter uh, three eighths circle a scallop punch and then this is just a decorative label. Now you don't have to do that but it just looks nice I think so just find something punch those out. I've just done it out of a heavy cardstock because you want that to be quite sturdy as your base. So the next thing we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and do the flower one first. So I'm going to just put this over. Um, there's a couple of ways you can do this. You can spray this with water and scrunch it, which does make the paper you know, a little bit easier to do. But if you do that, you're going to have to then either let it dry or take your heat gun. Well, I'm not going to do it. Um, I've done that one this way, and it, I think it's come out nice. So... I'm quite happy with that, but it's just a couple of different techniques you can do to get this 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 look. I think by wetting it down, it's going to probably um, you're going to end up with more um, creases. And then I know using the heat gun because I've done this in the past. Um, when you use the heat gun, it it does draw it up, so it's a tighter flower. Um, so it, you know if you've got the time and want to do that by all means do. Um, so there you go, you don't flatten it out, just keep it, you know, you just want to get opened up enough so that you can punch a hole through it. Now this one, um, I've held it with a brad, which I will do on this one, but I'm, I think on this one I might add um, a button to the center, I don't know, I'm going to have to see, because <coughs> this one, I've that's the biggest brad I've got, and I'm, I think it needs to be something a little bit bigger. So, I used to have some really nice brads, but I used them all up, and uh, it's difficult to find anything that's big now. So there you go, I've just kind of opened those up. Like I said, don't, don't flatten them out completely. Just with your little 
pokey tool, put a, a hole through the center. That way that brad can hold this all together. You don't have to do this. You could just hot glue it or glue it, but I just think that this gives it a bit more um, stability. So just going to decide which one of these I want on the top. I like that. Actually, I'll put that blue on the top. So I just take them and this is going to be the top one. Just make sure that your leaves are, you know, the petals aren't lined up. You want them to be staggered so that it looks more natural. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm just putting that brad through and then I'm just going to, um, sorry, my nails, it's hard to see here. <laughs> um, so you've just secured that with that brad, and you can see the brad's just kind of lost in that. So um, before I put that button in the center, I'm just going to try to shape the flower a little bit, and if you want to, just scrunch it up a bit more. Now, keeping in mind, if this is going to go in a journal, you know this is going to get flattened out. But what's nice about this is, you know, as you're going through your journal, you can just fluff it up. Nothing's... It, it, just nice, a nice little addition to it. Um, yeah, I don't like this bread. You see, this is a small one. I, I just think it's lost on that. So I'm just going to put a little button of some sort. I'm wondering if I can do that. That's a little bit shiny. Yeah, I'm not too sure. I think that'll work. I'm just going to put a um, a little bit of the Fabri-Tac. If you probably, I know this will work. Um, any kind of strong glue. You don't want to use any water-based glue, or it won't hold it. Gosh, I'm getting low on it. Sorry, I should have had this upside down. I'm just going to get a glob in the center there. Put that, uh, and I'm just going to set that to the side. I'm going to come back and shape that, but I'll just set that over to the side and we'll work on the butterflies. Now the butterflies are a little bit different in that. I'm not going to uh, scrunch these up because if you did, you're, you're going to probably lose some of that. All I do on these is I just take the three, line them up, and I take some linen twine and I wrap around it a couple of times and then I just tie a little knot. If you want to, um, you can do a small bow. You can tie a small bow. Um, just make sure you cut enough linen thread to do that, but I just tend to just cut it off. Just snip it off so you got just a little bit left over. And then what we're going to do here is just get a little piece of lace. I'll be right, let me just get my ink over here too, because you guys know I always forget this step. And then I have to come back. <laughs> okay, so let me just ink up the edges. Um, because it's just going to make that butterfly stand out a little bit more. And then ink the edges around this. Okay, got that. Uh, let me get a little bit of glue down here. Just going to a little glue there. Let me slip that off. Just um, put a little piece of, um, this is great for if you've got little off cuts of your lace left over. It's a great way to use it. Now, with the butterfly, what we're going to do is glue down that bottom butterfly. So just take your glue, and you wouldn't have to use Fabri-Tac obviously on this. It's just what I've got handy. Um, see, I've just applied glue to that bottom layer because you want that 
the stick. Sorry, I've got a mess here. It is. Um, and I'm just going to kind of put him off center. And then stick that down. Let that adhere. And then you can come back and lift these other two layers. You see? Can you see? Then you've got a very dimensional embellishment there. Now I thought another thing that was nice, let me find it. I've got some of these little Tim Holtz stickers and I thought it would be nice just to put put something here. Let me find one that I like. I like this one. It says be original. Now that's far too white, so I'm going to try to tone this down. So there, that looks a lot better. And then I'm just going to come back and put that across the top up there. And don't worry, let it let it hang over. I think it looks nicer if it does. And if you wanted, you could add um, you could add a couple of brads. That would um, uh, I guess we'll do that. Let's do that because I'm always saying what we could do and I never do it. So let me let's just add a couple of brads here and see how we like that. It might be too much. I don't know. I'm really funny. There's a fine line between um, what works and what's too much, I think. Well, at least for me, anyways, because I, I don't know. I'm, I don't know. I, I kind of like really simple um, things. I'm not really into a lot of blingy stuff. So we'll see if we like this or not, but I think it's going to look okay, actually. It just sets it off a little bit more. But you could do all sorts of stuff. You could add some pearls or whatever, you know, depending on what. If you used a different, not such a grungy print, um, pearls would be pretty on a shabby chic one. But there you go. So you see how cute that is. Now let me grab, because yesterday I went ahead and made, I started my paper clips. So I'm just going to try to, oh I know that's the one I want right there because I like the contrast of that to that. So I'm just going to stick that on quickly assuming my glue is going to work. Because I don't think this is quite big enough that it would work as a um, a tuck, you know, a corner tuck in a um, junk journal. You could if you made a bigger base I think, but um, that one's quite, you know, it's not very big, so I, I think this suits a paper clip much better. So you see, and like I said, that's going to flatten out, but what's nice about it, when you're flipping through the journal, you just fluff it up, and it's quite a nice little embellishment, I think. So we've got that one done. Let's check on our um, flower one and see how that's coming. I'm going to go ahead and ink up around this. And I'm actually going to try to ink up some of the edges on this flower. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is the center, you've got three layers. So take that top layer and kind of start drawing that in around that button or whatever you've used. If it's a brad, you know, I want to get that scrunched up a bit more. I want it to look really tattered and worn. Yeah, 
Yeah, I kind of wish I would have. I can already see my mistake. I should have put some thread through that button first to have made it a bit more finish. So keep that in mind, guys. If you're going to put a button in there, just go ahead and take the time and do it. Okay, so I've got my old, this is my old tattered uh, doily. I got this for 25 cents at a car boot, um, and it was falling apart. But I always see some kind of use out of this kind of stuff. So what I've done is I've just went ahead and cut out one of the the flowers, and you can see it's really tatty, and but that's that's the way I want it. I want it to be that way. So I've just I'm going to glue that down. Actually, you know what? I'm I'm going to put a little bit of eyelet eyelash um, trim first. Let me do that first, so you guys can see. Just take a little glue around that outside and let's lay that eyelash trim there. Now get a big old glob there for our doily so that holds in place. And we'll just draw that in a little bit so that way you can, you're still seeing that eyelash trim underneath. And then just take a little dollop on the bottom of that flower and come back. And there you go. That's a really, really pretty little embellishment. I just needed to finish that center off, but you guys can learn from my mistake now. So, let me go ahead and put this on another Go ahead and add that to that one, and I'll have a couple of these done. So yeah, I'm trying to just do, spend some time doing some little easy projects because in between my journals, it's nice to get some of these done and ready to go. So there we go, and this one says, Own Your Dreams. So really pleased with how those have come out cute and that one's got the brad so you can see the difference but aren't those sweet and they're really easy um as you can see super quick and easy it's just getting all your materials together and um and just doing it sitting sitting down and doing it but it's just another way to try to use up some of this stuff sorry about the noise guys I think this it's a great way to use these little because I don't know what else you could use those for really. Well, little banners. I could make some little banners out of it, which is probably what I'll do on some small. I might do some little paper clips, alter those, and that I could just do those into some strips. So there you go. Um, just some ideas, guys, and I hope everybody's going to have a great weekend. I will be back uh, very soon with some more ideas. Take care. Bye.